Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's play as the United States in a Hearts of Iron 4 Democracy Edition U.S. Campaign. Alright, so, uh, let's see, what are we doing right now? We are kind of, I guess, trying to advance in the Turkish lands. Very nice. Uh, we are slightly trying to advance into more German-held territory of what was formerly known as the Soviet Union. Uh, let's see, we are going to try a small little encirclement around here, so this is what I've already decided. We will do the encirclement, which I might want to dub as the the Mocha Strategy. Maybe Mocha... Mocha Strategy. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see what, what kind of nickname I can give for encirclements. Yeah, look at some of these guys, some of these divisions. They aren't doing so well, Mr. Stark. They aren't doing so well. Uh, let's see, anything else going on up here? Y'all should advance. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm saying probably y'all should probably advance. Nine divisions, well. You get some of those guys going that way, some of these guys going this way. Seven more divisions going this way. Uh, I think we would do quite well with that. Alright, well, I guess my cat's here, named Binky. And, oh, nice. Ten Finnish. I think that's Finnish convoys. But, uh, my cat's looking underneath my bed. Alright, whatever. Very cool. Alright, so we have... We did, did take this piece of territory, which still does hurt the enemies and their infra uh, infrastructure. Yeah, not really hurting their infrastructure, it's hurting their equipment. Which we need to do a little better job for our guns for out of a deficit of support equipment, which is great. We are doing better on our modern tanks, but we still have a lot of medium tanks that need to be replaced currently. Uh, it's not bad letting all the tanks do their job. Good job, tanks. You're doing a great, great job. I don't want to advance the infantry until our tanks have really finished moving around the cabin. Holy crap, Japan. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm only going to take half of you guys. You know... Hold on. These guys are like garrison. They're literally garrison divisions. Almost. I mean, my garrison divisions have a lot of almost maxed out support companies. But that's the ideal, you know, coastal province division that you want. Let's see. This cavalry, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to let Japan... You can, you can do whatever you want with them. I'm, I'm totally okay with you doing whatever you want with them. So, I mean, you will probably need some help down here, which we are building up a lot of infrastructure, actually. Which doesn't make any sense, because Africa, or at least nowadays, I'm sure it has better infrastructure, but it's not great. Oh my gosh, what are you trying to... Oh my gosh, Japan. What are you doing? I'm not going to say this is a bad thing, but... No supplies is not good, but when the enemy doesn't have any organization either... Still not a bad idea. Still not a terrible, terrible idea. Alright. Oh my gosh. Where are your divisions, Germany? Seriously. I was expecting a little bit more of a fight. I mean, since we've been kind of waiting, trying to get more, you know, equipment in the field, but this is a little ridiculous, I would have to say. Heavy tank destroyers, well, that's that's nice. Super heavy tank destroyer, or super heavy tanks. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're advancing regardless, so I'm not really concerned. Y'all come over here. Y'all come over here. Sir, Ger where are your divisions, Germany? You tried so hard to push me out here that you almost cut off like some of these tiles that we have. <sighs> oh, and we did make a small encirclement. I'm glad I came over here. It's only two divisions that we got rid of, or we will get rid of. God dang it. Hey, but it's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. That's how you do it. Slow, you start slow, you start small with whatever you have to work with. And then you gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger. And have a good time doing so. There's nowhere I can really put better or more radar at. So that's okay. More losses. Oh. Oh, yeah. Some Romanian subs. We haven't seen these subs for a while. Oh, quite a few of them. Let's see. Any extra spare ships? Reserve Fleet 12 docked here. That's actually not a bad fleet. Uh, Battleships. Battle Force. The Pacific has 10. You guys are patrolling. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I can go ahead and... I'm going to do one of you, one, two, three, five, 
That's not bad. Let's do that. I'm going to add you to here. Do that. Docton, Virginia. You guys are currently patrolling. I'm going to let you do the same thing. Even though this is the Pacific, we don't really need too much else here. But we'll help patrol this area as well. The Bismarck Sea, I think, is okay. Jesus, that's a lot of subs. Um, honestly, there's nothing going on here. So go hold and repair. I want everyone to repair. That caused some quite a bit of lag doing that. Oh, nice. We well, we lost something there. I can't. I didn't really see what we lost, but that's okay. A lot of enemy divisions are losing a lot of equipment. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Couple Icelandic divisions. Uh, oh, the Germans still have a navy around here. Black cruisers, subs. Well, that's a lot of convoys. Holy crap! That oh, that's where the Finns are. Okay. I wonder where they work. Where they work? Because the Germans seem to be holding their territory. Still got. No divisions. They must be transporting a lot of goods back and forth. Uh, really don't want to do this, but yeah, go go right ahead. Just do that. I don't want to manually tell you where to go, but it looks like I'm going to have to. 24, Jesus, 24 divisions there. That's so many guys. Honestly, Germany, or uh, maybe not even Germany, but the Axis in general, where the hell are your tanks? <gasps> what the heck? Last time, we were struggling trying to move up, and right now, it's just like, where'd they go? Like, like I'll show you, they have the same number of divisions as we left off last time, up to over 1.25 thousand. They have a ton of manpower, what the heck? Ah, oh, you gotta love this AI. Got to love it. Couple more, four more convoys, very nice. Hmm. Now, how are we going to use our tanks next? Since we did accomplish a couple things here with them. And with Eisenhower attacking in the... Trying to attack in the north. We could exploit these guys very hard. Huh. Actually, the infrastructure up here isn't very conductive to tank warfare. But using the tanks in the north could help finish off what was Norway as well as Finland. I'm... I'm inclined to use my tanks to finish them off. It's not a bad idea. Get up there. And I'm going to have to redistribute my, our front lines. Uh, so you guys, just ignore everything you've done so far. Help spread your line out a little bit better. And then you guys will have, or will be capable of, better operations when you shorten your line a little bit. That's a little, hopefully a little better. Hopefully. Alright. Yeah, you guys just try to get over that river as fast as you can as we still watch the enemies try to attack us in Turkey. We're researching a lot of tanks that we should have blueprints for since we've already we're pretty far ahead in time for what we can build. Let's see there's so this group is a group I really wow they are attacking like crazy. There's one group I really want to use over here. But Maurice You are level six because of all the attacks and defenses that you've done. What? Actually, you're halfway to level 7. Jesus Christ. Yeah, guys, just keep at keep attacking my general here. Keep wasting your manpower. I love it. Ooh, that's a lot of subs sunk. Eh, it's only four subs. That's actually not a lot. Uh, not a lot. So, I had a comment. Ooh, that's not good. Well, having a comment's okay. It's actually, I like the comments. But, the comments. The one comment yesterday we had. You should play as Britain next. Well, I'm not saying no. But I do have in mind, maybe I will play as Britain. Maybe I will. Last time I played as the United Kingdom, or, you know, the former British Empire, was, I believe, in Feverreich. Oh, see, now they're attacking me again. Thank thankfully. But, uh... Oh. And we resurrected the Empire by uniting everyone under the same flag. Now, that was very fun. For a while. It was pretty good. Pretty good time. I, I would do it again someday. If I play as Britain, I will probably not go national populace or whatever that type of ideology is, just because I've basically already done it relatively recently. Maybe in the future I will do that again. But if I play as Britain, I would either go democratic, which I probably won't, or I would play as some sort of left-leaning left or very hard left ideology like communist. Um, I, might, I don't think you can play as socialist UK in this game. 
at least in vanilla at the moment. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can. But if I play Britain, I will probably go communist. Which sounds actually kind of fun. If we could turn like the entire Commonwealth of Nations into a bastion of communism. That being said, I would alter the uh, way or the direction, the ideological direction of which countries will go. For example, if I play as Communist Britain, Communist UK, I'd probably make France, maybe Italy, and Spain go democratic to form some sort of al allied bloc against me, maybe. Maybe keep the Soviet Union as communist, while the Germans go fascist with maybe the rest of Eastern Europe also go fascist as well. That would be an interesting uh, idea that we that may or may not happen. It would just depend on the setup. That Make sure I'm not too overpowered. You know, you don't want to watch someone who's just completely overpowered. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what you want in life. But that's neither here nor there. Actually, I want all the tanks up here because I just want to blitz through Finland. Or what was the Finns. Um, can you just go ahead? Let's see, we're not really winning. I don't believe we have air superiority or nukes around here. Yeah, we need more air superiority. We have strategic bombers within range. There's not enough nukes. Heavy SP anti-air. Yeah, whatever. And Binky has to, decided to take a nap. Let's see, you guys, you help out. With a little bit of extra help, you should be fine doing this. Yeah, there you go. There you go, boys. Let the tanks do a good job here. I know I said I wanted to do more encirclements and stuff, but I really just want the tanks to finish off the fence if we can. The finish area. Uh, let's see. We are doing well holding our own ground. Hmm. Lloyd Ferdinand. What's going on down here? Anything interesting? Can I attack this group that has 9 to 10 divisions? Not really. Slightly more XP. Let's see. Three German convoys. How is Japan doing? Well, they lost Sinai. They have expanded down Khartoum. They have slowly been expanding down here in Africa. I mean, that's just kind of nuts. I mean, they did build up a crap ton of ports, so they get a lot of supply in there. So that's good. Oh, a lot of... Oh, another sub sunk. Very cool. Uh, hmm... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, oh man. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah, let him attack. I want the tanks to win, though. I need the tanks to just be, like, going ham and whatnot. So I really want to cut this area off. Let's see. Not bad. The tanks are doing all right. I will, I will not be able to use the tanks as much as I want just because we still have a you know, pretty big deficit of tanks. Let's go ahead and switch you from over here. Holy crap. To modern tankos. Yeah, that does hurt our supply currently that they are attacking, but whatever. So we have negative 600 tanks and negative 740 medium tanks. Not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and everyone move up through there. And research that. I'm surprised you don't get a bonus to research. I guess, you know, like a month that takes it it takes like a month to research those things. So I guess that makes sense. You don't really get an actual bonus. You just research them faster than other things. All right then. Well, since no one's here, we might as well try to move in ourselves. Did we lose? I think we lost this territory. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. The Wolverine. Sure, why not? Uh, God. All right. Well, if you don't want to hold your line, I'll I'll hold it for you. I'll hold something for you. I will really hold something for you, Jesus. Alright, six. Oh my goodness. And, uh, let's see. There you go. There you freaking go. Um, guys. Y'all can move up. You can probably take those guys out. I want you guys to pause your attacks. Because while it's going okay over here, I don't really want to split my army. I uh, I really want my tanks to advance through here. But it's going okay. Let the infantry hold. Screw it. We're going back down south. 
I, I really have to eliminate some more of these divisions before we, we really do anything else. Let everyone come down here. This is a really prime spot to get rid of quite a few Nazi divisions. Prime real estate spot. And they are attacking whatever. Don't really care. Infantry will be good enough holding, especially if the enemy is taking a little bit of attrition, but they do have quite a few divisions. Uh, oh, we are getting attacked right here quite badly. Oh, Patton is leading this defense. Oh. The Germans are trying very hard to take this territory, but I'm not going to let them. No. You guys can do that. Yeah, one division holding out against there probably isn't going to work super well. Come down here. Take one of you guys. Come down here. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Any opening? Any holes? Any openings? Oh, they pushed us back once again over here. That's fine. These couple divisions should be doing pretty well. Level 5 general. Hmm. Well, as long as the Germans keep attacking, we'll keep defending as best we can. All right, tanks. You down here yet? You're almost. You're almost fully down here. Oh, they, they know. Does the AI know that I'm trying to encircle them right now? Because why are they all leaving? I wanted to encircle all those other soldiers. Is the AI, like, truly learning? Because this is honestly not what I expected. It's really not what I expected. I mean, if... I mean, at, at least encircle one division here, but... That's kind of nuts. That it looks like the AI knows when you might do an encirclement. This game actually has gotten more difficult than I thought. Even though it's not really super difficult, it's just... Kind of, uh, amazing to see this actually happen. Well, we can only get rid of one, but one is better than none. Very cool. Alright, so we're going to break through here again. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. We're going to be positioning ourselves right here. And we're going to take out a lot of forces in the north, because that might help out the south. Potentially. Lots of divisions still here. Lots of divisions. Um, I don't really want to use nukes. Maybe except over here. Oh, okay, so we got seven nukes. We have two nukes. And once that happens, I'm going to attack once again. Break across if you can. There's not that much manpower over there. Good. If you can break across here, get to the Crimean Strait or get over here. Get close to Kherson. Then we're, we're really in business there. Good, good. That's awesome. We broke across there. And the tanks are should be pretty ready to go. Uh, let's see. Just, let's pause it. Attack through here. Well, you're doing your thing. Whatever. Without you. And without you. We'll come over here. We'll come over here. Since they don't seem to have a lot of divisions guarding a lot of spots. Up into there. If we can do that, we can encircle quite a few divisions if we are fast enough. So I'll give our guys a little bit of a boost. Ah, very good. How is air superiority? We are doing okay. Not great, but okay. Uh, here is not super good. Obviously, Turkey is a mixed bag still. We're taking quite a few losses, but we're doing a lot of damage to them, surprisingly. Especially with a lot of air support. What's this? Uh, are these a strategic bombers, perhaps? Yes, it is a strategic bomber. Good. Come up to here so we can get closer to the regular front. And we might start bombing, let's see, anti-air, radar definitely, and air bases. Do the Ukraine. Because we won't want to advance further and further throughout here. You don't need 22 divisions going that way. Keep these guys at bay. That'll be good. Awesome. How are the tanks doing? Walter Kruger, hope you're having a lot of success. I really do. You don't need to be attacking that spot anymore, just because we don't need any massive casualty numbers. Alright, not bad. Not bad. So fighting through Russia is a pain in the butt, especially in October. Or really, I would suppose, any time of the year. It really sucks. Fighting through Russia. Oh, are we losing the Battle of Sevastopol? That's fine. That's actually fine enough. We'll probably encircle them. Destroy whatever we ha they have here. Nice! We cut them off. We have cut them off. Yeah, everyone just go right here. Cut these four divisions off. Heavy tank destroyer. Very cool. Don't really need you, but 
but very cool regardless. Help attack. Is it fair? Like low, low, low organization. Awesome. If you can break across, do it. If you can't, do it. Do it. Look at that. There's a naval mine. Yeah. Look at that. There's actually mines here. Is that? Who's whose plane is that? That's not mine. I don't lay naval mines. That's awesome. These are huge. If this is a real map, those are huge mines that you could totally see coming. Uh, just take these guys out. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, don't move, don't move. No, 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 no. I want everyone right here. The Germans may invade us, but I don't think they will, you know, through naval invasions from, like, Romania over to Sevastopol. But you never know. Yeah, definitely do that. Um, they might do this as well. So, definitely do that right there. Cool, very awesome. And I'm just going to increase the number of guns that we need, maybe. Because we will be capturing more and more factories as the war goes on. The tanks are doing okay. They're not doing great. They're doing okay. Yeah, the Germans are definitely learning here. Or at least the AI is. That is not good. They've completely abandoned their positions. Oh my god. They made it harder to encircle people. Holy crap. That's insane. I can't believe the AI is actually learning. Hmm. Interesting. 15. Uh, 16 divisions is quite a few divisions for two infantry, 7 2 divisions to take out. Uh, actually, since you're stalling here, just come up here. Come on, keep going, guys. Keep going. Give it a little bit more gas. Almost made it. Almost made it. Come on. We have three nukes. I really need to make more nuclear reactors. Uh. I want you to attack, but do it carefully. Ah, oh, that's so not... Uh, I don't like this. All 24 divisions should not be doing that. But if we win the battle, I'm going to tell half of you guys to hold. Yeah, don't do... Don't be crazy. That's fine enough for me. Are these guys... They should have supplies coming from somewhere else. Kherson? Can you select half of these guys? And attack this way. I might have to take this group out first. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere. Don't don't worry about attacking that. Uh, just kind of hang out. Yeah, just hang out. They are attacking us like crazy. We have almost completed an encirclement, which is taking forever to do. And we're going to help attack from this side. And almost complete this. No, do not move. I do not want to get re-encircled. Awesome. Go ahead immediately just start pummeling the living hell out of them. This will help shorten up the war, hopefully by a few days. You guys come up here. Tanks, you have to stay still. And then I'll send this tank this way, actually. Mark Clark wounded. Well, well Mark Clark, try not to get wounded next time. Uh, you come over here. Nice. Lloyd Fredin... Fredin... Fredinel, whatever your face is. Doing good job. Mark Clark, I heard you're injured. Well, next time... Don't get injured. Very cool. Anything going on in the naval world? A couple convoys sunk. Not much. Japan is... Once again, trying to invade Sinai. And they're losing because... They don't realize that they need a port to probably invade. That would probably help. And they're slowly, of course, still expanding. Uh, got lots of planes. That's good. Keep, definitely keeping the Italians and the French busy. And they're still attacking me down here. Go, freaking figure. Can you send half of you guys down this way, maybe? Send half of y'all. Slowly, 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 slowly trying to expand into Turkey. But my gosh, look at that infrastructure. And look at the attrition that's happened because of that. Look at that. Mmm. Despicable. How they treat their own soldiers. Terrible. Look at the equipment levels. It's just so bad. I'm sure they have enough manpower, but Jesus Christ. Someone's got to spare those soldiers' souls. Uh, since they're not moving... Oh my goodness. Please get across the river if you can, because the German AI is... Like I said in one of my videos, or at least as a title of one of my videos, wonky. Very, very wonky. Alright, let's, let's reform this. Uh, let's see, where's the line? Oh, it's actually pretty well expanded. Very cool. Speed it up a little bit, let them redeploy as we figure out a next 
Oh my goodness! What the heck? Seriously. I love the AI sometimes, sometimes I don't. I mean, it's it's literally free real estate up here. Literally free real estate. I'm down here, they're like, nope. But over over in the north, they're like, yeah, just come on in, Americans. There's no one fending. You can have it for now. I, I don't know, they, I doubt they would speak in that accent, but, you know, that's just my impression on them for right now. Let's see. Uh, actually, divisions. Cool. Coasts. Yeah, go to Siberia. Help us out. Help us. Americans out. I see your problem, and I'm going to exploit it, hopefully. I see this, and I'm like, well, I see your point, but, uh, no. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, did we take that spot? No, well, we'll kind of. We're still waiting for it. And we did just take that spot. Awesome. That's the room. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I wonder what the... Like, the... Holy smokeronis. Look at this. There's no one around here. Just... I hate doing this, but go. If you can. If you can. Oh, okay, get that. If you can go, go right ahead. And I suppose I'll let my tanks go as well. You know, do they even have orders? Go right ahead, since there's not that many divisions around here. We could have exploited more. I'm just going to let it kind of play out. Alright. Southern Front. They are still attacking down here. This AI, I swear to God. Did they make the German AI like one point better than all the other AIs? Because Germany's allies, just like historically, they're not doing so great. <laughs> I mean, they have a ton of divisions, but they've lost so much equipment here that they're so they're so low on equipment. And Maurice, I mean, he got wounded w once. He's still wounded. But he's level 6 general. He's getting closer to level 7. I figured out how to do a modern tank destroyer, but... Oh, my goodness. Those are being researched. I think we're literally almost done with all the research in the entire game. Fighting the Axis is taking forever. Oh, well, I forgot about anti-air guns. Actually, does that... What does that give us? Anti-air? Static anti-air damage factor. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, gotta love the cough, cough, cough. Oh my goodness, copy. Send half y'all this way, and send the other half this way. Send... Two divisions up there. Oh. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Seriously, guys. You're making this too awkwardly, not awkwardly easy. Like, some parts of this... Not super easy. Why'd you go? Okay, wh wh whatever. Whatever. Can we can we just continue to exploit them? Germany, where are your soldiers? Where are your allies? That's a real question. Where are your allies, Germany? How did you lose 0 .9... Uh, 900... 990, probably. Uh, divisions. What the heck? I mean, Jesus Christ. This is... Wonky. And laggy. Definitely laggy. Well, there's no way for you to go except right there. Send the other half this way. They do have... Hmm. Forts. We can nuke the forts. That'd be interesting. But I'm not about that right now. Looks like you don't really have that many people left here. Yeah, go ahead and take that. Shore up the line a little bit. Have a good time. How are the tanks? What is a tank stock about like? So we don't have a surplus of modern tanks yet. But we're pretty darn close, I would say. Pretty darn close. Modern tanks, yes please. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Not yet. We're not closing out yet. we still got room to expand. And what are the casualties like? Well, we've taken almost 12 million. The American-German War. 15 million for our entire faction against the, almost 34 million against the entire Axis. Germany, you've lost 18 million. You know, I think after losing 18 million, your war support would, might be a little bit lower... I mean, wasn't historically Germany's total population before World War II like 80 million? And for me to kill at least 18 million soldiers, that's more than 10% of your entire population. That's not quite... Is that, is that more than 20%? 20% of 80 million is... Don't ask me about my math. Yeah, it's more than 20%. That's like almost a quarter. A little less than a quarter of your entire population has been killed. That's a little crazy to think about, don't you think? 
Oh, we've lost a quarter of a million, a quarter, a quarter of our entire Germanic population. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, this is the death toll. This is World War III, by the way. It's not even World War II, it's just World War III. So I guess you would have higher casualties. Oh, they are definitely trying to strike back at us as we are trying to strike back at them. Oh my goodness. Where are y'all? Y'all are doing over here. Doing a great job. I don't want Dwight Eisenhower... Oh, Dwight Eisenhower is attacking. I don't want MacArthur to attack very much. Oh my... Gid Giddily on, whatever he says. What the garbage? Oh my Gideon, that's right. That's what Alex Rambler usually likes to say, but yeah, whatever. Oh god. I do that. War propaganda is already good enough. Uh, let's do that. Let's make another thing over here. More nuclear reactors, man. Nothing says America like nuclear reactors. We've expanded a little bit here in Turkey, but there's really no big thrust we can do. And we just linked up. We just linked up our entire forces with this group down here. That's good. That's really good. I'm actually surprised we did that well. Oh, a small little encirclement of three divisions. Guarded by, like, 20. Awesome. Um, okay, they died. And we will end this episode soon, but I want to see what else we can do around here. Seriously, is this it? There's no industry. We got a lot of stuff here we could do. Um, yeah, a lot of losses, but, you know... Uh, uh, actually, MacArthur... You know what? I don't want to do this. Because he's part of the line here. Mm. <sighs> I'm going to add him to this group. Why am I doing that? Just because we'll probably get to Romania before we actually end up... Uh... Finishing off Turkey from where we are currently at. And this would help spread the divisions a, a little bit more. So we can actually do a little bit more damage, hopefully. MacArthur's got a lot of attack. Eight. Skill of eight. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. That's pretty darn good. And then when we're done attacking in the north, we can, of course, attack in the south. Where are you guys at? You guys are still trying to attack. I want you to go more ham. They have so many open spaces here. Just go here. Take Kalinin. If you can. Just the losses are just mounting. We've literally killed 17.7 .7 million Germans. Love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, we are s slowly closing in on this massive front. I mean, we started all the way over here. All the way, like, in what n was normal China. And I think next episode, I'll give China maybe a little bit more territory. Because they have been probably making sure that democracy or a republic is the true way forward. So they should have a little bit more control over their populations and whatnot. So I think that should be probably suited for the next episode, the next video. Uh, send half of you guys up here as well. Hmm, that's a lot of divisions though. This is quite a few divisions that are attacking. Uh, we should probably stop attacking in the north. Stop attacking. I will let the tanks continue moving towards Kalinin though. And I want to see what they can do, if they can keep taking a little bit more territory from the enemy. Medium tanks are doing very well. Modern tanks are getting better. We have enough equipment for pretty much everything at this point. So that's honestly a little reassuring. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know I could build stuff. Build, uh, research more stuff, build more stuff. But whatever. We got a lot of manpower, Jesus. 10 million? And we're still mobilizing a little bit more? It's great. Radar. Well, we're doing pretty well in radar. We could probably use it in the Crimea, honestly. Help us out in Turkey, maybe. Ooh, definitely up here when we were fighting in the Nordic countries. Uh, there's really nothing for me to really research. I mean, I've already got both these going. Yeah, we're pretty much done here with research. Maybe except for a few things, but... For the most part, it's it's over. The research is just over. It's just taking forever to get through all this. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and try to take these guys out. I would love to see how much or how little or how much is needed for German equipment levels. Because they've got to be getting lower. I mean, we were low for a while, but not, like, too, too much. Oh, no good. T95s, huh? Cool, how would you do that? Nice. Zafore? Zafore, whatever you pronounce it as. 
be careful. I don't mind you attacking. Just be careful. As the tanks up here are doing well. Supposedly. Supposedly doing well. Come over here if you can. Send one tank down here. If we can circle those five divisions, that would be great, great, great. Come on, get an encirclement going. Come on. And then we'll end the episode there. Come on. They're taking forever. You're taking too long. Yeah, we're not going to be able to encircle them. But we hopefully will be able to take the city, which will be great. Oh my gosh. What the hell is taking so long? Well, a little bit of lag. And I think we just actually just killed them all. Awesome. Let's go ahead and redeploy our tanks somewhere else. And then call it an episode. Let's see. We will put our tanks hmm, right here. Looks pretty good. And then they will spearhead from here to here. Something really quick. Let them go on a roll. Check out anything left here. A lot of dead convoys. That's good. That's nice. And we're still getting attacked like crazy. And we're still kind of attacking like crazy as well. So very, very good. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, what do we do? We have expanded, or our puppet has expanded further into Africa. We have taken a little bit more territory and taken the Crimea. And a little bit more Turkish territory. And next time we should be able to do or take out quite a few more German divisions. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. Like always, thanks for watching.